robot vacuum woke me up. I have a set to 7 o'clock every single morning and it was coming towards our room. So it woke me up and everybody else is still sleeping. Usually the kids will wake me up because they wake up so early. I turned on all the Christmas lights and sitting by the fire. Super cozy. And just gonna enjoy the sound of my robot vacuum. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy it sitting here and get my morning started off with the right headspace. Pepper. Good everybody. Sip my Americano. But the plan for today is to take out these tape and extensions. By the way, I've had them, I did them myself, and I've had them in whenever I uploaded that video, like around that time. How long has it been? Three weeks ago, so we're going on week four, so about a month. This is the tape in. They're actually very good quality. The hair still feels very nice, doesn't feel nappy or weird. I feel like if you are going to invest in Lily hair, I do think it is worth it. And I think they're a good quality tape and good quality hair so much so that I can take these out and actually reuse them. Where I've tried other cheaper ones off of Amazon that yeah, they're nice because they're cheap, you're not paying a lot up front, but then at the end of the day, I couldn't reuse them. Like there was just no reusing them, they were shot. So, so for hair, things like this, it's I do think it is worth investing. But I'm gonna take them out, I have a hair appointment on Saturday. I haven't had a hair appointment in such a long time. I usually will just do like a root touch up, sometimes lighten it. I was supposed to lighten my hair and get all over baby highlights to help the process of lightening it, but I wasn't able to make those appointments. So it's this Friday, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet 100%. Let's see. So today I want to just take out the tapins, and tapins are very easy to remove. I have already removed two that I had in. They weren't bothering me, but I felt like my hair was a little bit too bulky, especially when it's short. If it's long, I don't mind having a lot of hair, but when my hair is short, I feel like a few tapins for my fine thin hair is sufficient enough but you can use rubbing alcohol isopropyl alcohol I have used that with other tapes and what it does is basically makes the tape lose its stickiness so that you can pull them apart and you do have to be gentle and make sure the tape is losing stickiness as you're applying the solution in and it gets tricky because the tapes are stuck together on the inside so there is one remover on Amazon which I don't have anymore it would have like a needle almost and you can get the needle in between the two tape layers and kind of squeeze the solution in between the two tapes and the solution would flow down and help the tapes lose their stickiness. The remover that I have now is just like a dropper, not a dropper, but just like a regular little tube. I'm just gonna remove them before my appointment, let my hair breathe for a few days and all that fun stuff. That's the plan for today, kind of. of the tape. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I have one here on the side. My hair's a little bit greasy so it's not the best but whatever. And this stuff is not sticky or anything. It's like if I'm not mistaken it's essentially rubbing alcohol. Let me smell this one. No, this one's a little different. This one's a little different than rubbing alcohol because it's oily. So I'm assuming maybe they added some kind of oil to it solution but it worked so well when I did use it. So here's a tape in. It grew out a smidge in those three weeks, but I would say you can keep it in for, I would say six weeks on average. The first thing that I like to do is just basically take some and put it over the top, 
just to kind of saturate that a little bit. But because you're trying to get in between the two tapes, you want to try to get the solution in between those two tapes to really get it to let go of the hair. You want to be careful and gentle because these tapins are not holding on to a lot of hair as it is. of your own hair on the tape that maybe when you have the tape in, especially with fine thin hair, you have to be really careful. If you tug it, sometimes you might pull a hair out. It's just so fine and fragile. Or it was already ready to fall out, so that's what you're seeing. But you shouldn't be like chunk, so you shouldn't be seeing like chunks of your own hair on the tape. That means you either installation issues or removal issues. But I just love tapins. I feel like they're good for my fine thin hair. And you get so used to the volume that when you take them out, it seems like, oh my gosh, my hair is so much thinner. When in reality, you have this much hair, this whole chunk that was hold on, holding on to literally probably like this much hair. So you're replacing this much volume back to this much volume and it's definitely an adjustment period every single time. I'll just say there were some instances where the tape was absolutely awful on some of the extensions that I tried and it did ruin some of my own hair removing it because the tape was just, the extensions were awful, the tape was awful, so you do have to get quality tape and extensions. So this one seems good, it's not that hard to remove. This is just not my favorite remover but it does work. It just has this like very oily. I'm not used to that. I like the more alcoholic one. I don't know, it's just something that I'm used to, but this one's not bad either. So I'll leave the links to that video where I removed them in the past down below, as well as the remover that I like if you guys want to check it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and make my kids some pancakes and then wash this hair because there's like oil all over it and then remove the other two in the back. charcuterie board with um, meats that my husband got from the Russian store. We say Russian store, but it's basically like your European store. We grow up on these meats. I almost forgot the most important thing. Fresh baked bread from the Russian store. So good. So we don't do crackers. If you're Russian, you know you do bread, kolbasa. I wish we had cucumber, but we don't. So I'm trying to make it work here. Went to the store to pick up some more coffee beans because believe it or not, we are all out. I was like testing so many different lattes and just drinking. We were both drinking coffee like crazy that we ran out, but I also picked up some cookies for the kids. They're literally half gone. I'm trying out some different beans this time. I think the first time I got, like a local coffee shop has their own blend that they do. This time I got an Adirondack blend, so we'll see. It said sweet, nutty, clean. Just fill it up right here. And then the rest I keep in this jar that I found at Walmart. I just keep my Nespresso pods in here. They have different sizes. I think they should still have them. Better Homes and Gardens. And it has like a rubber seal so it keeps them, I would say, fairly fresh. Oh, wow. Let's give this a try. It smells a bit strong, so we'll see. I want to watch the Christmas movie. No, it's actually really good. The same cafe quality. These coffee beans are super, super delicious. They do have a website online and I'm pretty sure that they sell their beans online as well, like whole beans. It's just so good. I did two shots this time. It's definitely very strong. So this is, seems like a stronger blend. So I feel like one shot would be perfect if you're looking for a very mellow type drink. But man, we have just been loving this coffee machine so much. Still working on the latte art, you guys. It definitely needs a lot, a lot of help. 
Hi. The kids were begging to go outside. It's only 5.21, but it's like pitch black out and freezing, but they were begging to go outside. My husband's out there shoveling a little bit. And I'm gonna warm up some, or warm up, I'm gonna boil some hot water for them. Maybe they'll want some hot chocolate when they come inside. And then I figured I would take off my makeup, show you guys the new PMD cleanser that I, that I got. I gotta buy one of those, you know like those terry cloth looking headbands that people use for when they wash their face so that their hair doesn't get wet on Amazon. I keep meaning to buy one, but I ended up purchasing a Sage Stone PMD cleanser. I had the one with the 24 karat gold plating and I mentioned this in a previous vlog that it started to like discolor and turn silver. They have a silver one as well. And I feel like for something that is that expensive, it's not supposed to be like changing color from gold to silver. And I've only had it for about two months. So I returned it and I love it so much so I ended up getting the one with the Sage Stone and I think this one is really pretty. It's just a little bit different because the 24 karat gold plate was flat, so I was able to put my serums on there. Whereas with this one, you gotta be quick because it's a little rounded. So if you leave it on here for too long, it starts to like slowly fall down the edge. So you gotta put it on here and kind of like work your way quick. It feels a little bit different. I like how the 24 karat gold plated one felt so much more than this one. I do still like it. I love the warming technology of it and I do love that it helps with product absorption. And I started loving this cleansing side a lot more. Before, what I would do is wet my face, put the cleanser on my face, wet this, and wash my face. But it felt like it was kind of drying still. So I watched a video online, and what they did was, or what she did on the PMD page, she wet her face, she wet this, and put the cleanser on here. And when I tried that and was cleansing my face, it felt so much better. Like I felt like I was actually getting a good clean in. So once I started doing that, I fell in love with the cleansing side so much more and I feel like it really does offer a very nice clean. So I'm going to go ahead and I wet the brush. I'm going to wet my face. And I'm trying to use like my Alemis cleansing balm. There's really not that much left in this trial one and I have been liking it. Oops. I'm such a habit of putting it on my face, but put the cleanser on the brush. My face is already wet, and then that way when you go in to turn it on, the cleanser kind of spreads out all over the face. I don't do it around the eyes, even without the brush. I don't do it around the eyes because I usually wear lashes, but today I just have eye makeup on, so I'll go in with a different eye cleanser for that. It's like a saturated pad of sorts to really be able to clean the eye area, but this is really nice to deep clean the face. Super easy to clean as well and I went ahead and turned on the warming side while I go ahead and wash this off. My face is squeaky clean. I still have eye makeup on which I will I have my saturated cotton pads in the other bathroom. I'm gonna do that there, the eye area. I'm gonna go in with my glycolic acid resurfacing toner here which I usually like to use just at night several times a week. Just kind of pat that into the skin. And then I will use a moisturizer. And this kind of varies depending on whether I want a really good moisturizer, like this one from Run Clean Skin Care, the Overnight Balm, or I just have this one here from uh, I Do Care. It's actually a nice, lightweight, but still very moisturizing moisturizer. I think today I'm gonna go in with a clean, um, overnight recovery balm. And this I'll just apply directly to the face instead of the serums I like to apply onto the wand, but this I'll apply directly to the face and then go over my face with the warming side and it just feels so nice. This is like my favorite part. I usually don't do this at nighttime, honestly. I'll just cleanse at night if I really wanna get the makeup off, but I like to use the warming side in the morning with my serums to really help with product absorption. But the warming side feels really nice. The stone, like I said, just this one feels different than the 24 karat gold, but I still like it. Kids are all back in the house now. My skincare is done. So we're just gonna hang out, probably have tea, whatever. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas.